There are millions of people all over the world who are affected by high cholesterol, which is a widespread health risk. A number of cardiovascular disorders, including as heart attacks and strokes, can be brought on by elevated levels of cholesterol in the blood, as well as other cardiovascular conditions. Although statins and other medications are frequently recommended for the purpose of managing cholesterol levels, it is of the utmost importance to address the underlying causes of high cholesterol in order to take a more holistic and long-term approach to the management of cardiovascular health. Today we will talk about the root causes of high cholesterol. Role of Genetics It is important to note that genetics has a key part in determining the cholesterol levels of an individual. Familial hypercholesterolemia stands out as a paradigmatic example of the profound impact genetics can have on cholesterol levels. This hereditary disorder manifests as markedly elevated levels of cholesterol, significantly increasing the risk of premature cardiovascular diseases. Importantly, FH can be inherited from either one or both of the biological parents, underlining the significance of familial genetic predisposition. Dietary Factors a significant factor that contributes to cholesterol levels is diet. It is possible for LDL cholesterol to rise if one consumes a diet that is heavy in saturated and trans fats. There is evidence that some foods, including red meat, dairy products with full fat, and professionally baked items, can cause an increase in cholesterol levels. Consuming a diet that is abundant in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and healthy fats can, on the other hand, assist in lowering cholesterol levels. For example, the Mediterranean diet has garnered a lot of attention for the beneficial effects it has on cardiovascular health. Sedentary lifestyle and lack of exercise. A sedentary lifestyle, characterized by prolonged periods of inactivity and lack of regular exercise, is intricately linked to elevated cholesterol levels and various adverse health outcomes. This correlation is particularly significant when examining the impact on cardiovascular health. When individuals engage in minimal physical activity or leave a sedentary lifestyle, it often leads to an imbalance in cholesterol levels within the body. Weight gain is a natural consequence of prolonged inactivity, and it further exacerbates the cholesterol imbalance. Excess body weight, especially around the abdominal area, is associated with higher levels of LDL cholesterol and lower levels of HDL cholesterol. This dual effect creates an unfavorable cholesterol profile and heightens the risk of cardiovascular problems, smoking, and tobacco use. In addition to being a known risk factor for cardiovascular illnesses, smoking is also known to be associated with elevated cholesterol levels. Certain chemicals found in tobacco smoke have the potential to cause damage to blood vessels and lower levels of HEL cholesterol. Smoking is another factor that contributes to the production of arterial plaques, which further increases the likelihood of developing atherosclerosis than smoking alone. When it comes to enhancing general cardiovascular health and regulating cholesterol levels, quitting smoking is a prerequisite step that must be taken. Consumption of alcohol. There is a correlation between moderate alcohol use and a little rise in HDL cholesterol levels. Consuming an excessive amount of alcohol, on the other hand, can result in a number of adverse health effects, including damage to the liver and elevated levels of triglycerides. If you want to gain the potential benefits of alcohol use for your cardiovascular system without sacrificing your overall health, it is vital to find a balance and adhere to the suggested guidelines for alcohol intake. Stress. An increasing number of people are coming to the realization that elevated cholesterol levels are a result of chronic stress. The hormones that are produced in response to stress, such as cortisol, have the ability to affect lipid metabolism and participate in the accumulation of LDL cholesterol. When it comes to managing the psychological components of high cholesterol, stress management approaches, such as yoga, meditation, and relaxation exercises, play a very important role. Medical Conditions and Medication Alterations in cholesterol levels can be caused by a number of medical diseases, including diabetes and hypothyroidism, among others. Taking care of these underlying issues is absolutely necessary 
in order to get cholesterol levels under control. In addition, certain drugs, such as diuretics and corticosteroids, have the potential to influence gastrointestinal lipid profiles. It is absolutely necessary for people who are taking these medications to collaborate closely with their healthcare providers in order to appropriately monitor and manage their cholesterol levels. Role of Nutritional Supplements There are particular dietary supplements that have demonstrated potential in the management of cholesterol levels. For instance, plant sterols and stanols have the potential to assist in lowering LDL cholesterol. There is a possibility that omega-3 fatty acids, which are abundant in fish oil supplements, have a moderate influence on lipid profiles. However, it is essential to approach supplementation with caution and to speak with a healthcare practitioner in order to guarantee that it is both safe and effective. Behavioral interventions and support. The process of altering one's lifestyle patterns can be difficult, and those who have high cholesterol may benefit from behavioral treatments and support. Educational programs, counseling, and support groups that focus on food choices, physical activity, and stress management are examples of what can fall under this category. Improved adherence to lifestyle changes can be achieved through the utilization of motivational tactics and individualized plans. It is necessary to take a comprehensive approach that goes beyond individual behavior in order to investigate and address the underlying causes of high cholesterol. There is the potential for community-based initiatives to have a major impact, such as raising awareness about the availability of nutritious foods and secure areas for physical activity. Modifications at the policy level, such as rules on food labeling and incentives for businesses to promote employee wellness, have the potential to create environments that are conducive to lifestyles that are healthy for the heart. When it comes to effectively managing cholesterol, it is vital to take a complete approach that includes making changes to one's diet, engaging in regular physical activity, learning how to handle stress, and, if required, taking medication. Together, we can work towards a society that has a lower risk of cardiovascular disease and an enhanced general well-being by providing individuals with the knowledge they need to make informed decisions, encouraging healthy behaviors, and establishing settings that are helpful. It is only through such comprehensive measures that we have any hope of combating the growing epidemic of high cholesterol and the health implications that are connected with higher cholesterol levels. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.